What's going on, Jerome's? Fans are super excited and pumped when USC star receiver Jordan Addison was the selection for the Vikings at number 23 overall. Just the dreams of him and Justin Jefferson working together as the best wide receiver duo in the National Football League. Just absolutely getting after it. And looks good in purple, man. It's selected into the number three. Ooh. It's going to be tight, man. It's going to be absolute fire. And the Vikings already boasting one of the best offenses in the game. I think we'll take even uh, a larger leap uh, in year two of Kevin O'Connell. I think the, they will have a top three offense, and it won't be three. Hmm, let's go, man. But here are five things that Jordan Addison brings to the Minnesota Fighting Vikings offense immediately. Number one, yes, the best wide receiver doing in the NFL. Now, of course, this is by default where, I mean, Addison hasn't played it down in the NFL. Addison hasn't even had a practice. We're talking about practice, man, in the league. But, I mean, JJ and KJ were already default uh, the best duo in the league because Jefferson is up here. And anyone else, like, hey, me, KJ Osborne, Jordan Addison, uh, Jalen Rager, well, maybe not. Uh, Jalen Naylor, and then uh, I don't know Jackie Chen. Like, like all of us could be the best wide receiver duo in the league uh, with Jefferson. Now, sure, maybe Tyreek and Waddle are close, but now nah, I mean that is how good JJ is, and that's how good uh, Addison is going to be in purple. Uh, next up, number two thing that Jordan Addison brings to the Vikings instant separation. So that's something that's been lacking opposite of Justin Jefferson over the last couple of seasons. But uh, Addison, like, don't let the testing numbers fool you. He's extremely agile on his feet. Slow feet don't eat. He's got some of the best feet in, in the class. He's a, the cleanest route runner in the class. Full route tree, uh, something that he prides himself on. And looking at how he was utilized in the pit offenses as well as at USC, uh, he is fantastic. Running the corner, running deep, running inside, outside, um, shallow, mid, deep. Uh, he's got everything. He's got everything in his back pocket he is elite at the stem and just putting uh the other team's cornerback one on skates now we'll, we'll ignore the the clark phillips the third game uh against utah We'll, we'll ignore that, but uh, overall, extremely, extremely uh, fluid out there. It reminds me a lot of Garrett Wilson when he was coming into the league, obviously Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Jets, Devontae Smith. Uh, that comparison has been made a lot, him coming out of Alabama, going to Philly. So just the separation that he gets instantly it is going to be uh, amazing for Kirk Cousins and this offense. Number three. Yards after catch threat. So, again, that's something that's been lacking uh, opposite Justin Jefferson the last couple of years. But once Addison gets the ball, well, th so yards after catch speaks to how good of a route runner Addison is. Where if he gets that separation, that decreases the chance that he's going to be tackled instantly after he catches the ball if it's well placed. And Kirk Cousins does have great placement on his bowels. And Addison had seven yards per catch, uh, seven yards 7.0 yards after catch in 2022. Nailed it with Caleb Williams. So, it, it, again, it just speaks to how open he gets and how slippery he is after the catch. Does he have blazing straight line speed? No, uh, but he does have the moves. He does have great vision, and he is going to make guys miss in the open field. Next up, I uh, think number four that Jordan Addison brings to the Vikings. <sighs> going to make it hard to double Justin Jefferson now because I can already envision it where the Vikings – uh, so the game plan against the Vikings by defense coordinators will be like, all right, we're going to double Justin Jefferson. We're going to triple him. We're going to have safety help over the top. We're going to bracket him. We're going to do all that stuff. But what's going to happen so much is that they'll do that, sure, and then TJ will go off, and Jordan Addison will go off, KJ will go off, and then all of a sudden it's going to be like at halftime, all right, we got to stop doubling Jefferson, and then Jefferson will have big second halves because he's getting singled up again. So uh, also I, I just love the idea of Addison going up against the second or third best cornerbacks on these other teams. It's just going to be be a beautiful man. And you're, you're going to try to single him up. You're trying to get him. You're, you're trying to play off him. You're trying not to press him. You're trying not to do all these things. And he's just going to make you pay. I absolutely love it, man. Uh, lastly, number five thing that Jordan Addison brings to the Vikings, three-level threat. Uh, again, don't let the testing numbers fool you, and don't let his uh, usage at USC fool you either. I, I know a lot has been hyped about him being an inside-outside threat. I actually don't think he was utilized properly uh, at USC last year. I think that his amazing uh, bust-out season uh, at Pitt in 2021, where he was a Blitnikoff Award winner, is best how he's going to be utilized. And he had an average depth of target, a dot of 12.4 at Pitt. So Kenny Pickett was slinging it downfield to number three, and he was getting open uh, both in the mid and deep part of the fields. And I think that that's going to be more indicative because, uh, I mean, a lot of people want to say, it's like, oh, he's just going to be like a slot receiver, Jarvis Landry. 
I, th- I think we may have made the comparison before, but no, I, I think that he is going to be a guy more like Garrett Wilson, more like Devontae Smith, who even though smaller and a slimmer frame, I think that he is going to be able to get open, get separation, and get a massive yards after the catch uh, all over the place. And lastly, I, I, one more bonus one, number six, swagger and energy. I mean, you saw it in the draft. They're like all, all the quotes that he's throwing out there, they're saying that we're going to score touchdowns all night. We're just going to do the gritty and score touchdowns. That's exactly the attitude that I want. And, you know, the whole thing is like, you know, Thielen, you know, Thielen gets fiery on the field, but off the field, like he's very buttoned up, very professional. Uh, Justin freaking Jefferson, like, yeah, you know, of course he gets after he does the gritty. It's awesome. Uh, but overall kind of quiet, a little bit shy. KJ's, you know, quiet professional, but, I mean, Addison's just going to come in here and he's going to run his mouth and he's going to back it up. And this offense needs a little bit more swagger. I feel like, well, with Kirk, uh, dork, you know, Cole's cash uh, guy, I think that the Vikings do need to step it up a little bit. And I think that Addison, let, <laughs> All right, hold on. Quasi, hey, Jordan Addison, this is Quasi Dofamensa. You've just been drafted by the Vikings. And then Addison, let's get, let's get paid. Let's get this thing turned up. I love it. I love it. Frankly, it's a little bit refreshing, uh, and also I think it's going to be a little bit contagious. I, I think playing with a little bit more of an edge, playing with that swagger on, on offense, I mean, it's going to be beautiful. Just racking up and stacking up 35, 40 points a game. Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, but that's it. Uh, th- that's five, well, I guess six things that Jordan Addison brings to the Vikings offense. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull. Production value.